you my looks people um i decided to do this video uh because of um the overwhelming um comments i got on the last andrew yang video i did um it was my reaction to an interview he did with the hill and quite frankly i i said in that video you can click the link above to watch it I said one of the very few things I don't agree with Bernie on, 100%, and that's the federal jobs guarantee. I, I, I said UBI uh, is a better option than that federal jobs guarantee. Now, I'm a Bernie supporter, um, and I do choose Bernie overall out of all the other candidates, but I said yeah, I put Yang number three, and um, one of the responsibilities of being a supporter for whoever your candidate is is to acknowledge not only their positives but their flaws too and I'm not necessarily saying the federal jobs guarantee is a flaw I just think uh, UBI is a better option now the second one of the second issues uh, I have with Bernie and this is again one of very few because there's no such thing as a perfect candidate um, is his reaction to uh, legalizing drugs okay um, and Bernie says he is for legalizing marijuana but that's easy that's a duh right to me that's a no shit because um, there is no solid reason at all there is it is inarguable that marijuana um, shouldn't be legalized it absolutely should full stop and sentence if you're still in the camp of not legalizing marijuana um, you're in a bubble and you're being an asshole quite frankly um, or you're you know however many years old ancient and you're stuck in your ways and you refuse to hear anything else otherwise because if alcohol is legalized marijuana should be legalized and sentenced another thing but that I don't hear candidates talking about either and you're probably not because it's kind of a hard thing to run on is prostitution should also be legal there is no reason why the government or anybody else should be telling anybody what they can do with their body so if Jill or Scott wants to go up and down the street fucking people for free nobody bats an eye nobody cares nobody says anything but the minute jill or scott charges five bucks they're getting thrown in a slammer it doesn't make any fucking sense and it's weird and it's really a control issue um but i have uh, a clip for you about uh andrew yang speaking on uh the legalization of drugs and bernie sanders speaking on the legalization of drugs we're going to listen to both clips and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it decriminalize opiates that are being used uh for personal use and aren't being distributed so in addition to decriminalizing marijuana i would decriminalize opiates for personal use that's a big deal i mean does that include heroin Yes, it does. I mean, at this point, what's happened is you had this OxyContin addiction that has morphed into fentanyl and heroin, right. which are frankly more accessible and sometimes less expensive uh, than the OxyContin that started the addiction chain. Yeah. Are you familiar with the Portugal model, what they've done? Because it's very similar to what you're saying. They essentially decriminalized all drug use, including heroin. They have injection sites where people can go and be dosed, but also have access to treatment rather than being thrown in prison. We're not talking about dealers here. We're talking about individual yeah, addicts. Individual I mean, is that, is that essentially, is that consistent with what you're talking about here? Yeah, I was inspired by Portugal's success where um, in the wake of this change in approach, they saw a massive reduction in both overdose rates and substance abuse rates. So I'm for safe injection sites, safe consumption sites, uh, and I'm for referring addicts to treatment instead of jail. But I agree with those folks. Well, moving in the direction of a decriminalizing at least marijuana right now. Uh, what so about hard drugs, though? I mean, that's the Portugal I'm not model. There yet. I'm not there yet. I mean, I just. Why not? Because heroin is a killer. And you want to push heroin? Uh, sorry, I'm not too tolerant to that. Okay, so um, I think it's fascinating with what Portugal has done in not treating drugs. Uh, or this epidemic they were having as a crime, but as a health issue. 
Um, because when you get down to the nitty gritty, it really is. And I hear a lot of people make the argument, it was choice, it was choice, it was their choice to get into it. Yes, in a lot of situations and a lot of times, it was their choice, but now they need help. Okay? They made, they made a, a bad choice and now they need help. Right? And if you throw those people away, um, then, I mean, that shows a lot about your character, shows a lot about your morals. Um, and I, I really like the way, and again, I'm fascinated by the way Portugal um, treated this uh, scenario. And um, I look to see even further results, even though the results they have already uh, is incredible. Now, the U.S. Um, is quite different from the rest of the world in a sense that we look at things much, much different. Even if they don't make sense, we're so stuck in our ways and, our, and we assume that our American views are immediately and always correct. And right now, what's been driven into our brains, what's been bathed, what we've bathed in is that drugs... Um, are this heinous, evil, evil, evil thing, and anybody having anything to do with it should be locked up and forgotten about. Um, look how many people got taken down with the crack ep epidemic. Look, I mean, just look what the war on drugs has caused in general. And there's so many people serving uh, sentences for nonviolent offen offenses uh, for such a long time, and their lives are ruined. And I, I, I don't feel like that's the way to look at it. And I'm not saying I have all the answers, right? There's still a lot of people that don't agree with legalizing uh, all drugs, but they have other they have other options, other solutions as well, which doesn't um, necessarily mean that you have to criminalize uh, these users and throw them away and lock them up. So even if you're not for quote unquote legalizing drugs at least uh, there's a large majority of people who want to um, not cr not uh, criminalize these users full stop uh, in the way that they are being criminalized right now and I and again personally I do think um, looking at it as a health issue is um, it's a different path and it's one we haven't really taken yet and I say let's let's tread down that path a little bit let's see what that path looks like because we've tried the the hard war on drugs we've tried it we've been doing it we've been trying it for years and years now uh and it hasn't helped at all it's actually it's worse than it's ever been so we've tried your way it's not working so it, there's no problem with looking at a different solution see how that works if that doesn't work okay let's let's do something else right because it's inarguable that the world the war on drugs is not working and hasn't worked um and a lot had, had to do with it um originally with the oppression of minorities uh period so um back to back to yang and bernie if you look at bernie's answer i'd say he was in a bubble and it's not easy for me to say that about bernie um and i've i've heard other people cover um, you know, Bernie on in his answer to the to you know legalizing drugs, um, and they've had different opinions on how he perceives it. The way I perceive it is, he's in that bubble. He again, weed is easy, marijuana is easy to say yes to, but he's in that bubble, and he's like, no, no, no I, I just I, I don't want to. It's a killer. I don't want to. I don't hear it. Okay, well, you need to listen to other opinions, Bernie, and you need to really let people. Um, give you other solutions or give you other you know answers um, other than your own and then make an educated decision from, from there I don't think you have done that and the, way, and the reason I say that is because of your response it's a killer I, I'm, I'm not there At least I'm not there yet alright yes it's a killer um, but there are solutions to helping uh these people out that are addicted and I don't think throwing them in jail is the answer um, and I, I just this is one of the other things I was on board with Yang about and he and he said it so surely 
No, he was unapologetic with the with his answer. He said it, boom. He didn't, you know, hesitate in his speech. Like he, this is something he's thought about, and this is a solution that he has. And don't get me wrong, this is a hard road to go down because, again, with most Americans, um, or a vast majority of Americans. When you tell them, yeah, we're going to legalize all drugs, not marijuana. Most Americans are on board with the legalization of marijuana. But when you say all drugs, they almost pull a Bernie. They're like, eh, that's a, and if anybody's seen faces of meth and, and, and shit like that, like, I, I, I am, I perfectly understand, or I can see why somebody would say, eh, but you really got to, you really got to think about it. And I've been on the fence about this issue myself too. And it wasn't until, you know, maybe a couple months ago that I, maybe three or four months ago that I got on board with the legalization of, uh, drugs. And again, it's got to be handled like a fine tooth comb. It's got, it's got to really be handled carefully. Um, and it's 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 one of the few things that I think you have to do incrementally. I don't like really like doing incrementalism, but it's one of the things you gotta do really carefully. So yes, legalize all drugs. I'm not saying do it tomorrow. Think it through. Think of how you're gonna do it, and make sure you have uh, the necessary uh, preparations for helping these people out. When they get caught with the drugs, you put them. Um, in a situation where they can overcome these drugs and better themselves, um, and yeah, that's it's again, it's one of the things I'm with Yang on. Um, and do I think Bernie will eventually come around to it? It's possible. He's a, got a very progressive mind. Look, Bernie has fought for me before I was even thought of. Bernie has fought for minorities. For the longest time, Bernie has fought for you. You, If you're watching this and you're not even pro-Bernie, you're not even for fighting for Bernie, he's still been fighting for you. And he still will. Right? Bernie has been fighting for rights and fighting for the right thing for a very long time. And he's been outspoken about it. He's been shunned about it. He's been shafted about it. And people has turned their nose up to Bernie. And he's been fighting. He's been fighting when it wasn't popular. He's been fighting when it was looked down upon for minorities, for gays, for everybody. Right? So you can't tell me that he doesn't have a progressive mind. This is just one of the few areas, the very few, few areas he falls short in. And I'm sure if you asked him, he, he'd think he's making the right decision. But um, And even for me, this is, I consider myself a progressive, but there's even people that are, that go past that line uh, of progressivism um, than me, that I'm not quite where they're at yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this is one of those things where it like it teeters on that line. When you say legalize all drugs, you know, that makes people like really quite look up and question for a second. But it's something that I've been looking at and I think it is a interesting choice to take and I and because it's working in other places, um it it has more geared me to the option of let's give this a shot. Um, and The Hill, they did something, they did a story on it as well, um, and they make some, they made some really good points. And I hope Bernie, um, comes around, you know, to this, uh, option, you know? And those are, those are two things I've been thinking about for a while. Um, legalizing all drugs and, uh, legalizing prostitution, full stop, because that's, the government shouldn't be telling you. Don't don't tell me what the fuck to do with, with my body ever. That, that's not your. Don't do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was just curious. What are your thoughts on the legalization of all drugs? Do you first of all, do you guys think it's something that can be done? Um, and and second of all, uh, do you think we should even do it? Do you think we should continue with the status quo and lock people up for it? Um, do you think we should uh, treat these people who are addicted um, like criminals? 
or should we get them the help that they need? And have you guys taken into consideration how it's going to affect the drug cartels, right? Have you guys looked at um, what happened with prohibition and, and, and remember what happened with alcohol and what in um, the fiasco that had caused when they tried to ban alcohol? So I'm just really curious on your thoughts. That's more so of what this video is as well. It was A, to point out the differences between Yang and Bernie on the legalization of drugs, but it's also um, to hear your guys' opinions. Because again, I was against the legalization of all drugs for a very long time. It wasn't until, again, three or four months ago that after listening to other uh, tubers and and people in the same political field as such as myself speak on it that I have become swayed um, and I'm just there I'm like right I'm just there I'm not like I dove all the way in I'm like fuck yeah let's do it I'm I'm more on the line of let's let's give it a shot and let's see how this works um, let's just let's let's go for it but be very careful with it like let's just be very careful with it um, where do you guys stand? <laughs> I don't want to drag the video on, uh, uh, video uh, along too long. Where do you guys stand? I'm very curious to hear your comments. So if you like what you see, if you like what you hear, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, if not, let me know in the comment section why. I'm always down to talk about it. Hopefully I'll be talking to you guys soon. Have a good one. Peace.